prophetic statement made by Coach Jenkins the day before the game that rang true on yesterday with the big 29-10 victory in the Florida Blue Florida Classic and the Wildcats third MEAC championship. We're here at the headquarters of Sheraton downtown headquarters of BCU football for the Classic and the champions are here. How you feel this morning? <laughs> Coach, you talked about uh, in that video that uh, we own the belt and this is business. Right. You own the belt. We definitely. This is our second belt for, for this contest, and uh, hopefully it'll be uh, a start to, to many more, you know. A great football game yesterday. Defensively, Coach uh, Earl Holmes in his postgame comment said that, uh, quite frankly, going up against a defense as good as yours uh, mm -hmm. with the red shirt freshman quarterback, he could never find his groove. The whole offense couldn't find their grooves. And, and you said it earlier, defense does indeed win championships. Mm -hmm. And they proved it on yesterday. Definitely, definitely. Our defense has been stellar all, all season. And uh, I've been saying it since I got here. I got one of the best coaching staffs in the nation. And um, our defensive coaching staff led by Coach Jones and then followed by Coach Sims, Coach Lane, and Coach Williams. Mm -hmm. It's just one of the best. And they prepare our kids to the highest to be able to perform. Well, they performed on the biggest platform, national TV stage. Coach, uh, over 45,000 fans, uh, brand new uniforms. You surprised them with a set of helmets pregame. Right. And uh, the Wildcats look good in maroon and gold, black, white, and gray now. Mm -hmm. Definitely, definitely. And it's something that, that we try to give to our young men because of the way they, how hard they work on and off the field. And I think it's deserving. Well, let's take a look now at the highlights. The MEAC clinching championship win, 29-10 over Florida a &M. So Williams will go on second and 11 from the shotgun over the middle, caught Eddie Poole on the run, 35-40, cuts it to the outside, across midfield, it's a foot race across the forward in the backfield, here's the snap. Jack uh, Quentin will keep it. Breaks to the right side. Off tackle toward the end zone. Touchdown, Quentin Williams. Back to throw is Royal, and he is going to be brought down right around the 22-yard line. Dyron Dye is in there. Tevin Tony is down. Gonna... 
take Cleckley all the way back to his 20-yard line. Now he dances back to the 16. Now the 50 forward, son, to the 20, breaks the tackle across the 25, still on his feet. Quentin Williams remains at quarterback. Jordan gets the carry. No, Quentin keeps it. Across the 35, 40, across midfield, and finally brought down. Check at 10. Williams wants to throw over the middle. It is caught for a first down inside the 15 down to the 12-yard line. Quentin takes the snap. He's got pressure. Has to roll to his right. He's going to roll. He's going to run. 15, 10, 5. Cuts it back in. Still on his feet. Fights off a tackle. And gets into the end zone for the touchdown. Burke and the handoff is to Owens. No, he'll keep it. And Royal will be stacked up as he crosses the 35. Forward back to throw. It's Royal. A little screen pass left side. It's caught, but immediately brought down at the 33 yard line for a loss. The blitz from Williams. He's going to have to throw in a hurry. He does. Complete first down, 12 yard line. Turnover would be great too. We, we haven't seen a pick yet. Fumble on the turn for the Wildcats. Have it at the 15. Larry, you called it. Wants to throw. It's to Eddie Poole. He's got it first down inside the five. Fighting for more. And with Quentin it's Isidore getting the handoff right up the middle into the end zone touchdown Wildcats he's from the backfield or is that Brock that's Brock Waters he's going to keep it and he throws it to the end zone two point conversion good so here we go on third down brought down in the backfield the handoff goes nowhere was that Owens didn't get anywhere they get 21 to 3 on defense and the handoff comes to uh, McVers back to throw under pressure down goes Royal here's the snap Royal hands off Again, first back through, but I think that's Owens, but not much room unless it's 21 for a first down handoff in the backfield to Owens. Hit behind the line. Royal on a quarterback draw on second down and 10. Goes nowhere. Third and nine, third and 10. Wants to throw. He's got pressure. Now launches it as he throws it. And it's picked off. Intercepted at the 23-yard line. Is that Deion Hanks? It is. We've got to get that one figured out. Handoff, first back through, pile up at the line, not much if anything. The handoff is up the middle, there's no gain there as well, and brings up a fourth down and under. Here's the snap. Eisenhower Jackson, the handoff. Eisenhower fighting to the goal line, touchdown. They'll run Brock to the left, he's trying to cut it in, and he gets into the end zone for the two point conversion from eight yards out. As the sun sets, the clock hits zero, and the Wildcats have won the 2013 Florida Classic. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top-selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. The Mideastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all bringing the dreams of our student athletes to light. A premier NCAA Division I conference. We deliver excellence across the spectrum. Uniting the diverse pursuits and talents of all our student athletes with the power of respect. For together, we are the Mideastern Athletic Conference, achieving the dream. Vision. Vision. It's not seeing things as they are, but as they will be. But as they will be. It's putting everything into this moment. Into this moment, knowing it will result. Result in a better moment soon. And a better moment soon. To become better than we are now. To become champions. Champions. To become champions. This is our vision. This is Bethune Cookman basketball. This is Bethune Cookman basketball. This is Bethune Cookman basketball. Welcome back to Wildcat Central here in the downtown Sheraton, the headquarters of your MEAC football champion, BCU Wildcat football team, here for the Florida Blue Florida Classic. The Cats won it. 
29 to 10 yesterday in resounding form. Uh, and now a look into the playoffs. But coach, before we talk ahead this week, let's take a look back uh, on yesterday's performance. Mm -hmm. It started defensively uh, for you. Uh, more of the same that happened all year long. Mm -hmm. A defensive unit that has set some records, and uh, basically they pitched a shutout on yesterday. Well, absolutely. I mean, our defense was ready and, and uh, wanted to take the field first. I was actually going to take the ball. Me and Coach Pride talked about it earlier in the week, taking the ball and putting the offense on the field first. But uh, I had a discussion with, with Jarkevis Fields, number one, and he said, Coach, your defense wants to go out first and set the tone. And so uh, whenever you got a player of his caliber, comes to you as strong as he did and asks for that, then you got to try to honor it because I believe in our defense. I believe in the system. I believe in our defensive coaches. And so we put the defense out there and they, they set the tone. Coach, a record-setting performance. Uh, they held the Florida a &M offense to less than 90 yards total offense on yesterday mm -hmm. and took the ball away a couple of times uh, where it was never and never – any doubt about uh, FAMU's ability to score points offensively? Yes. Right, right, definitely. But when you get a collective effort by a, a total group of individuals, then that's the end result. And the thing that's so wonderful about this team, nobody cares whose name is being called. They're, they just want to make sure that we're making the play and we're doing what we're supposed to do. And that's mm -hmm. defensively and offensively. And that's why we're having the success we're having on both sides of the ball. Uh, offensively, Coach, uh, you established the run. Mm -hmm. and uh, ran the ball in great fashion. Uh, but uh, Quentin Williams comes up, and he's the MVP for the, uh, the Wildcat offense on the day. He did a great job of keeping the ball mm -hmm. uh, on the read option, and then he uh, made some timely passes. Yeah, Quentin did an exceptional job doing uh, what we coached him to do. He made one or two mistakes here or there, and he, and he knows about that. And, and, and that's still eating him up even this morning, even after the victory, because mm -hmm. he's a guy who tries to be a perfectionist, and he wants to be a great player. Uh, but he did a good enough job at, at leading us and, and, and uh, leading us to victory. And then Broderick was prepared and ready, and he came in after, after Quentin and, and did a phenomenal job as well. So uh, it was just good to see us operate uh, on all cylinders as an offense and, and be able to put points on the board and uh, put us in a position to win. Your three-headed quarterback only played with two heads yesterday. Jackie Wilson, mm -hmm. you decided to sit him. Right. Precautionary with a high ankle sprain, and you felt that he could have gone if need be. Right, right. We felt Jackie could have gone, you know, uh, but we felt we could get it done with, with Quentin mm -hmm. and with Broderick. And so we, we went that route. And, uh, you know, knowing that our offensive line would take on the challenge and win the line of scrimmage, we felt like those two guys would perform good behind our offensive line and uh, lead us to victory. Coach, six different running backs hit the field yesterday for you. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them, uh, first time in five ball games, Anthony Jordan. Right. Anthony Jordan returned and, and did a good job, you know, and, and uh, we were very pleased with that. And he's going to only continue to get back to his true form. And we all know when he's at his true form, he, he's a force to be reckoned with. But those other running backs, you know, uh, Ike Jackson, Kerry, Mike, you know, Drayshawn, Drexler, they, they, they're, they're a force to be reckoned with as well. And, and you got to take your hats off to uh, Coach Denson. He does a phenomenal job getting each one of those backs prepared and getting them to understand their role in this offense. Special teams played a huge role in yesterday's game. On the offensive end, uh, Preston Cleckley uh, about broke three or four for touchdowns. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a, a level of consistency there that you feel very comfortable with right. running the ball back. Cle Cleckley is a threat. And in uh, and, and this game going into it, we changed our philosophy mm -hmm. a little bit and wanted to give him an opportunity to make some plays. And, uh, and, and he did so. He responded. And I tell you what, whenever you got guys up front, that are willing to, to block as hard as they did in order to allow a young man on their team to be able to make a play, that speaks volumes about the team as well. But uh, my hat goes off to Cleckley. He did a phenomenal job making some big plays for us in the special Finally, teams. Coach, punting the football, Kago had a great day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kago, Kago is a good punter, and I think he's on his way to being the best punter in this league. He's a young guy who has to improve a couple technical things, but when he's on, let me tell you, he, he can really punt the ball well. And he's doing a double duty, which he hasn't done before, but he, he's performing for us at a very high level, and I'm very pleased with Cable. Coach, we talked about special teams. We talked about defense, offense, coaching staff. Uh, you got to give credit to your sports and medicine crew, your oh, equipment definitely. staff, mm -hmm. because this was indeed a programmatic win for the Wildcats. It was. It was. It was a programmatic win. We had a talk as a, as a, um, as a total union, a, a just a total operation mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago, and uh, I asked everybody to give their best. 
And, and I tell you what, the training room has done a phenomenal job. Tiffany's really taken over and did real good. Liz uh, has stepped in and, and really helped us as well. And, uh, you know, of course, Coach Megger is always at the top. And he's one of the main reasons why we're winning ball games at the level that we're winning them at because our guys are strong and in shape. And then our academic staff does a good job as well. So it's been a total uh, uh, input from everybody in every phase of this athletic department. That's what it takes to win championships. And the Cats have won three under Brian Jenkins. We'll come back in just a few moments, and then we'll shift gears and take a look ahead. The NCAA playoffs are then this Saturday coming to BCU. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's, LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 best list four years in a row, and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach. Or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Do you want to wear what the real Wildcats wear? You can get your official BCU Wildcat team gear from the comfort of your own home online at BCUSportsShop.com. The official online store of BCU Wildcat Athletics. Save your gas money. Avoid the hassles in the mall. Click on bcusportshop.com and get the best in Wildcat wear delivered to you in just 48 hours. bcusportshop.com, the official Wildcat online store. Vision. Vision. It's not seeing things as they are, but as they will be. But as they will be. It's putting everything into this moment. Into this moment, knowing it will result. Result in a better moment soon. In a better moment soon. To become better than we are now. To become champions. Champions. To become champions. This is our vision. This is Bethune Cookman basketball. This is Bethune Cookman basketball. This is Bethune Cookman basketball. That's why, because the Cats just found out that they are going to uh, have a rematch with Coastal Carolina in the first round of the NCAA playoffs. This one will happen in Conway, South Carolina, the home of Coastal Carolina, and the Cats are uh, looking forward to that. Coach Jenkins, uh, this gives, uh, well, first of all, being in the playoffs, one of uh, just a handful of teams across the nation to continue to play mm -hmm. has to be a victory in itself. But as your mantra says, never satisfied. Right. We're not, we're not satisfied with where we're at. We're pleased. Right. But our main goal is winning the national championship, and this team is poised and ready to give their best effort to do that. And uh, that's what makes me feel good as a coach. That these guys have done everything you've asked them to do in order for us to be in the position that we're in now. Yeah. Well, last year, uh, Coach came 
uh, we missed a lot of early opportunities, uh, and you felt that uh, we just did not play the, the Wildcat brand of football that, that got us to the playoffs, and Joe Molia's mm -hmm. football team left it with a victory. A absolutely. They, 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 you know, Coastal came in with a very good football team, mm -hmm. make no bones about it, and they capitalized on a lot of mistakes that we made. But we, we, after watching the film, we don't feel like we put our best foot forward. So, uh, and, and that really helped us during this season of understanding that we have to do our best in order to be competitive and, and in order to have a chance at winning the ball game. Well, that's going to be a huge ball game this coming Saturday, Coach. Uh, the winner of that uh, actually gets a shot to go to Montana against the University of Montana. Mm -hmm. But what will it take? Tell us about the effort that it will take uh, for the Cats to hit the road and, and win in Conway, South Carolina, knowing full well that you've been very successful with mm -hmm. this football team on the road. Well, what it's going to take is for us to continue to stay in the moment and, and operate like we've always operated and prepare at a high level for a good coastal football team. And we understand that. We've done that before many times. And so we're just going to stick to our normal routine and our trained behavior. You heard uh, several of the coaches on the uh, ESPN show talk about the playoffs being a grind. Mm -hmm. uh, this season was a grind already, mm -hmm. but now you've got to take it to another level, don't right. you? Right. Well, you know, uh, you know, being in the grind is something that we're used to. Our off-season training is a, is a major grind, and our, our 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 camp is a major grind. So our mindset of of practice is a grind. So we're we're used to the grind, and 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 we understand it in full. And I think because of that, we'll be well prepared to make it through the playoffs. Well. Making it through the playoffs will require a Herculean effort, a team effort uh, that involves, and you, we mentioned it earlier, uh, sports medicine, strength and conditioning, academic support, mm -hmm. family members. And we've got everybody that we could virtually name in this room this morning. Absolutely, and they deserve to be here because uh, every little thing, a great thing that they've done has helped us get to this point of being a championship football team and has helped us and encouraged us to get to the moment that we're at to have a chance to play in the playoffs. Champs, as we go to commercial break, I think you need to give your parents, your families, and all the support teams that, that really work with you a big round of applause. Let's do this. We'll be back in just a few. Larry Kelly here at Ritchie Cadillac, inviting you to stop by and discover why Cadillac is the top selling luxury brand in Volusia and Flagler counties. Cadillac CTS has the performance, design, and luxury that make Cadillac a luxury brand leader. The CTS family has been named to Car and Driver's 10 Best List four years in a row and also has a five-star safety rating. Test drive the Cadillac CTS today at Ritchie Cadillac on Nova Road in Daytona Beach or visit us online at RitchieAutos.com. Welcome to my place. Get in the game. Get in the game at Vince Carter's LPGA Boulevard at I-95, Daytona Beach. The Mideastern Athletic Conference, 13 institutions, all bringing the dreams of our student athletes to light. A premier NCAA Division I conference. We deliver excellence across the spectrum. Uniting the diverse pursuits and talents of all our student athletes with the power of respect. For together, we are the Mideastern Athletic Conference, achieving the dream. Vision. Vision. It's not seeing things as they are, but as they will be. But as they will be. It's putting everything into this moment. Into this moment, knowing it will result. Result in a better moment soon. And a better moment soon. To become better than we are now. To become champions. Champions. To become champions. This is our vision. This is Bethune Cookman Basketball. This is Bethune Cookman Basketball. This is Bethune Cookman Basketball. Just a few minutes left here this episode of the Wildcat Football Insider. We're here at the Sheraton downtown in Orlando, the headquarters for the 2013 MEAC champion Wildcat football team. They won it last night, 29 to 10 over Florida A&M. Coach, that makes now the Brian Jenkins version and era of Wildcat football, 37 and 10 overall. But in MEAC, 30 and four, coach. 
right. Well, it just goes to show you, you know, like I said before, I got a tremendous coaching yeah. staff. And uh, whenever you got a group of coaches who have no ego and they understand the goal at mine, you know, and they're willing to work, you know, to reach that goal collectively, then you can only have the results that, that, that we're having. Coach, those freshmen that came in with you that uh, you celebrated two weeks ago at Senior Day now become the winningest football class in the history of Bethune-Cookman University. Mm -hmm. And all the seniors back there, raise your hands. Where are you? Where are you? I think that's great, Coach, you know, that they are able to, uh, to celebrate that. But the streak can continue. Right, definitely. It is great, you know, to, to see that, that freshman class have the success that, 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 that we've had, you know. Um, it lets you know that when we first started this thing that the foundation is solid and sound with the guys that we recruited. And I remember recruiting guys like Dion and Tevin Tony, mm -hmm. and, and them telling me, you know, Coach, we're going to make this a championship program, you know, as well as others. And, and they did that. They put everything into it to make it happen. And they know as well as all, all the rest of us know that it's a lot more football to be played, and we, we intend on playing a lot more football as well. Coach, one record that needs to be broken in the history of BCU football, uh, from a Division II to a Division I level, the university has appeared in now six NCAA championship football games and has yet to win one. Right. What will it take to break that streak this Saturday? Well, it's going to take discipline and uh, just a grand effort of focus and uh, operating off our training behavior and getting ready to, to, to play at a very high level and a productive level uh, against a good football team. And we've faced mm -hmm. good football teams week in and week out. And I think, I really do believe in this football team uh, getting things done in order to win that first playoff game and on our way to winning a national championship. You said in your first year that your goal was a national championship. Mm -hmm. And you were somewhat confused after that very first Florida Classic uh, that many of the fans said, okay, the Classic is over and the season is over. Right. But we had a playoff game. Mm -hmm. And gradually that mindset has changed amongst our fans now. And now, as a result, we're going to need them to travel with us this weekend. Absolutely. We need all the backing and support that we can get. And these young men deserve to have that yeah. support. They deserve to go on the road and play a good football team and have some success and have some of our own in the stands cheering for them and rooting them on. You're absolutely right. And Wildcat fans, all you need to do is contact the BCU ticket office. Uh, they'll have ticket packages for this weekend. So eat your Thanksgiving food and get ready Friday to hit the road going up to Myrtle Beach. If you can't join us there, make sure you log on to Cat Eye Network, ESPN3, uh, the Cat Eye Radio Network, and all of the social media tools that we have to follow the cats. The cats are in the hunt now for the national championship. This has been a wonderful year. A lot of people to thank, from King's Eye Productions to the staff at Cat Eye Network, Brian Jenkins and his staff, and also Brian Harvey's staff from media, so many people that really kicked in this year as the Cats now have won their third MEAC crown. What a record-setting performance, and there's more work to do. We'll see you this coming Saturday. The NCAA Trail, BCU, and Coastal Carolina. The Cats are in the hunt for the national title. I'm Lynn Thompson for Brian Jenkins and the Wildcats. See you next week.